Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the cards for the 27th of February 2017. How are you all? Did you all have a good weekend? Um, my weekend of rest and recuperation involved me working until 12 o'clock Friday night, Saturday night and all day Sunday. So <laughs> a bit of a change of plan there, but everything is now in order. Um, it felt quite good, actually. It felt quite good getting everything sorted. And have you been feeling the effects of the eclipse? You know, the magic is still working. So, um, so like I say, I think it's going to go on for, for maybe another couple of weeks, actually, you know, so be be prepared for that. Um, all in a positive way, though. That That's it. it. It is feeling really positive. I've had a lot of messages from people saying that they felt the shift as well, you know, and this is what it's all about. We're, we're living in very exciting times you know and there is a big change going on you know and this is within us as well and that ties in nicely with the cards today so I'm using this deck again I'm sorry I'm just absolutely in love with it so I'm learning this deck and I'm getting to know it as I'm going through the readings so like I say this is um this is why I'm using this this deck again you know so the card that we have today is Temperance. Now, Temperance normally, it's uh, it's an angel, and the angel is sort of like, you know, they're quite pure and balanced and stuff like that, and it's all about bringing balance in. But within this deck, it's the alchemist, you know, so this is all about alchemy. Now, what is interesting with this is, you know, it's about the mixing of the two, and as soon as I pulled this card, what I got in was about the mixing of the sun and the moon, which is what we've just had with the solar eclipse, you know. And I, 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 I love eclipses, you know, the energy of them is always fantastic. And when the sun and the moon mix, mix together, you know, uh, they merge together, um, it's, it's fabulous and it's magical. And what they say is that the sun sees your body and the moon sees your soul. So it's, it's, it's sort of like a merging of our shadow side and our light, you know, you know, our darkness and our light are actually sort of merging together there. And we need to accept both of these aspects of ourselves in order to be whole. You know, one can it one can it exist without the other. So within this card, this talks about it's a time of creation, you know, and transmutation, which transmutation is when we we change, we change form in a way, you know, not like shape shift, not anything, but we change on a on a cellular level. And this is what is happening to a lot of us at the moment. You know, this is why people are experiencing the dark night of the soul. This is why so many people are now rising up and saying enough and going out and protesting and things. You know, we've we're changing as people. And this is what the Yogi Bhajan had said would happen within the Aquarian age, you know, and this solar eclipse marks a huge, a huge doorway within that, actually, you know, it's, it's, we're fully into the Aquarian age now, you know, and this is what we've been working towards. This is when we come together and we work on a whole and it's about we, not I, you know, as a collective. Um, and, the, you know, there's, sorry, they're, they're bringing in there, there's a lot of souls coming back together again, if that makes sense, you know. Um, I have a little, I don't know if you can see that, I have a little tattoo on my finger there, and it's the red string of fate. And in Japanese folklore, they say that um, the before we, put, we are put down on this earth, the gods tie an invisible red thread around the little fingers of all souls who are meant to meet again in this life. And it doesn't matter where they are in the world or whatever, when the time is right, it will bring them back together, this red string. It can never be cut. It can get tangled, but it can never be cut. And, you know, I, I, I love that story. And when I look at the really important people in my life who I have soul connections with, I should never have met them really, you know, we've been in the same places and not known each other, but they came in at the perfect time. So that was my, my little daily reminder for it. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent again. So what this card is saying is this is when we are blending different aspects to make something more precious. And this is also ourself as well as blending with others. It's about blending with ourself, you know, and it's sort of like a subtle process this. 
you know, we've had the, the craziness. I mean, if you think the cards that come before Temperance, you know, there's the Tower, there's the Hangman, all of that. So we've gone through the crap and we've gone through the shit and we've gone through the painful stuff. And now, as I said last week, there's like this surrender. And the surrender is this acceptance and this sort of stopping any resistance to this change, you know. Um, and when I mentioned with the cards at the weekend about there being pain, if there's pain in your soul, it means something's wrong. So this card coming after it is great because it's now about making these changes that need to be done in order to bring balance back in, you know. Um, and like I say, they say it's sort of like, within this card, it's like he's using different aspects here to transmute us into spiritual gold. So this is the process that we, will go, we are going through. We are going to be more precious, you know. Um, and, you know, within this, it's like the Philosopher's Stone and what they say with this, it's, you know, it's, it's, this, is, this is what's in the mix, you know. This is what, what we use to mix, you know, and this is what... Um, this is the process of turning something into something else. And this is what we're doing when we're evolving, every single one of us, you know. And what, what happens a lot with this is like we're bringing together a lot of different aspects. And this is all linked within this card. And it's like it's philosophy and art and science and magic and mysticism. And by blending all of that together, you know, I mean, at one time, science didn't, didn't even admit, you know, that anything spiritual existed. Now we have, you know, so many people studying metaphysics, you know, because now it's it, science and spirituality are merging and people are now saying, you know what, what we actually initially thought, there could be another way. So people are now more open to it. People are now more... Um, they're more open and they're now ready to explore, you know, which we, we had the we had the cards, didn't we, about the exploration the other day. So what is happening here with this card is that we are like going from a lower vibration into a higher vibration, you know. So this is when we're getting the spiritual gold because we are evolving. But that is by mixing different elements within our life, you know, the things that we did know, the things that we're now learning. And it's mixing them together to find out who we truly are and who we really are, you know. So this is an absolutely fabulous, fabulous card. And if we look, this is when we become the butterfly. If you think of a butterfly, look at the process of a butterfly. It's this caterpillar and it's quite pretty, but it goes along on a lower vibrational level. It crawls along the floor and all it can see is the floor, you know. It then goes into a process, into the cocoon. And what actually happens within that is it completely breaks down. Its whole sort of structure breaks down into this messy goo. And from that goo actually the caterpillar is formed which is much more beautiful which is much more free and which can fly and live in a colorful world its world opens up and this is what is happening with a lot of us when we're experiencing this dark night of the soul we've been we've been the caterpillar we've been going along but we couldn't see anything else suddenly we're put in this cocoon or something forces us to go in this co cocoon you know and what happens is we start to break down, you know, but a breakdown is only really a breakthrough. This is what's happening. So when we feel we're breaking down, we're not, we're breaking through to the next level and we will come back transmuted and we will be different and we will be more colourful and we will be free and we will be able to see so much more than what we could see in our life as a caterpillar. So don't mourn this change, embrace it, you know. Whatever breakthrough, breakdown you feel you are going through at this moment, know what is to come. You know, you will be vibrating on a higher level. You know, you will reach bigger heights. You know, there's, what is happening is our external, our internal changes will change our external world, you know. So our inner world is the world that we inhabit. 
you know? So when we start changing that and when we start breaking that down, like a lot of people are doing, they're, they're questioning old doctrines, they're questioning old beliefs and things like that. So when we change internally, which sometimes we can't help because once the process starts, it doesn't matter how much we go back and how much we try and stop that, the process has started. The, you know, the, the, the box has been opened. So we must carry on no matter how painful it is. You know, and with this, what happens when we change internally? We need to make the changes in our exterior world as well because they don't fit anymore, you know? So we can change the world by changing ourselves. And it's, it's an absolutely beautiful process. The person I was 16 years ago is nothing like the person that I am now. But I much prefer this one, you know? It hasn't been easy. It's been very, very hard and very difficult. And at times I didn't think I was going to do it. But with every breakdown came a breakthrough and it pushes and pushes. And I know that I still have so much to learn, but I'm embracing that because I've, I've been through the bad and I know that there's always good at the end of it, you know. Now, if we have a look at this guy as well, look at his heart chakra, you know, look at the glow within that. I mean, it's such a beautiful, beautiful card. And it's like he's mixing these liquids and it's forming like another world in there you know it's 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 absolutely and it's turning this world on its head you know and we have these red roses and these white flowers you know and this is for passion and purity you know and they're mixing together so they say within alchemy you know and what it says within the book of this is first we bring together then we beautify we break down that which has been purified, purified, we purify the divided, we unite the purified, and then we harden it. So this is just breaking us down so it can build us back up, you know? And so it's stages. We do this in stages. It doesn't, spiritual enlightenment doesn't happen overnight. It's a long, hard slog, you know? And if you try to rush to the finish line, you're going to have to come back because you don't, you don't learn everything that you need to know. It's a process and it's a process that will carry us on and carry us on. And you know, when we're lying on our deathbed is when we will learn our last lesson. We never stop learning. And that is the beauty, you know, of life. It's lessons, you know. And they say within this, the stages are man, woman, sun, moon, king, queen, you know, and it's the blending. Now, I don't usually like to talk about things like this, you know, but I've mentioned soul connections, okay? Um, but within the book, this this beautiful, I mean, the, the book is absolutely stunning for these. I'm, I'm going to actually show you it uh, because I just, it's, it's like, look at that. It's like magic and it is just, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm in awe of this deck. But this talks about the lovers, you know, and this actually likens this card to the lovers. And it says that the lovers is a part, the, the, you know, the souls coming together, but then breaking apart again, you know, dissolving, changing exactly who they are. And then temperance will bring them back together as one. You know, now, um, I know there's a lot of people I've done readings for, you know, that, that talk about, you know, these, these horrendous breakups or whatever, but there's, you know, there's these soul connections are coming together, you know, and like I say, there's this stop, start, stop, start, you know, if you haven't learned the lessons, then it won't, it won't come back together, you know, but this card is talking about that. And, you know, the, the, the solar eclipse was a very, um, important, uh, important time for this there was a portal you know I mean I don't want to make this into a love reading because it's not so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there you know but when we think of alchemy one of the processes what we have is you know we heat things up and then we cool them down and then we heat things up and then we've got to wait for them to cool down again you know and this is how you know they, they, they make they make gold you know it's, it's it's all in the process so you know this is saying that like now is a time for moderation. You know, we've had this heat. We've had this. Right, okay, I'm going to go forward. Then we've had these very destructive breakdowns. Then we've had, okay, I'm ready again. Then we've had these breakdowns. But what this is, is now, right, okay, we're at a stage where it can just, we can allow things to evolve here, you know, because this is it. It's now about moderation. You know, the craziness is 
is going, I feel. You know, I feel it's not about the craziness anymore. There's, I feel there's been massive lessons learned. So now it's starting to fit and it's starting to make sense within your head and within your psyche, you know, and it's like, right, okay. You know, I don't know what else is coming, but I understand a little bit better than, than I did. You know, so like I say, this is a long, long process of transformation. So it, 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 it's absolutely beautiful. I just, I really, really wish that you could see the energies of these cards. And um, what I am going to do, I'm trying to get somebody on the case so that I can actually go live on Facebook sometimes and do sort of a question and answers and do free readings for you, you know, where I can actually pull a card and, and connect with you on, on a deeper level as well, you know. So watch this space. I am looking at that. <laughs> and as soon as I can, as soon as I find the mix between me and technology, then, you know, I, I will be able to do that. So anyway, sorry, I've, I've that, that temperance has got me really, I mean, for, for talking about balance and the balancing of the two, which really got me sort of quite energized. But like I say, this is the energy of the, of the solar eclipse that is still there, you know. Please let me know if any of you are feeling it because it, it has been absolutely wonderful. So then what we get in the Osho Zen card, and this is one of my favorite cards in the Osho Zen. I absolutely love this guy. <laughs> now, this guy, it's called Abundance, and we have the King of Rainbows here, you know, and look at him. I mean, how how chilled is he? He's like pretty much my perfect guy, this this guy, you know. Reminds me a bit of Russell Brand, you know. He's my, um. What I know people have different views on him, but like I say, I'm, I've been besotted with him for a long, long time. But within this card, this guy, when he's sitting there, if we have a look at him, you know, he's masculine, he's strong, yet he's peaceful. You know, his outlook is very spiritual, you know, uh, but he's still the kind of guy who you can go out dancing with. You know, you could imagine him being like dancing on the beach with you, dancing in the rain, you know, drinking wine until all hours in the morning, you know. And he has like he has an understanding and a wisdom, you know, that belongs to a guru, but he's still knows how to have a life as well and what I love about this card is the fact that we have the moon and we have the sun there as well so what he is doing he has embraced his darkness and his light and this has formed a rainbow this has formed a rainbow for him, you know. Um, there's, there's a photo of me actually out in the rain one day. I, I, I always go out when it's really... Um, raining heavily and my daughter took a photo without me knowing and I have a full rainbow aura over me and it's, it's, it's a horrible, horrible photo. I've got about 20 chins on it but the photo with this rainbow aura is absolutely like, I couldn't believe it when I seen it, you know. Um, but this is what's happening with him, you know. He's formed the rainbow, he's found his pot of gold because he has merged the two sides of himself together and he has accepted this as well you know and what is happening with this as well can you see his chest is like open there as well so this is showing right okay he has matured emotionally you know and it's like it's like he's his the air that he's breathing now is clean it's not stifled you know look at him he's 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 happy as a pig in shit, I would say, you know, um, and he's holding the lotus flower here. And, you know, the lotus flower talks. I, I, I love one. I have a big one tattooed on my back. I love lotus flowers. And the story of lotus flowers is that the the strongest, most beautiful lotus flowers come from the deepest, darkest mud. So it's sort of like no matter how much shit you go through you will grow stronger and more beautiful, pretty much the more shit that you've gone through, you know? So this lotus flower there is talking about that he has blossomed through his bad times. These times when he thought he was breaking down, he was actually growing. He was being fertilized with the shit that was being put on him, you know? So this is it. He's blossomed with that. And he's sitting on a book here, you know, and this is like the book of life as well. So it's like he's experienced now, you know, he's lived and this is allowing him to bring in a perfect balance with him. So, you know, it's tying in very nicely with that because this guy is in perfect balance, you know, um, and he can now see the good and the bad in any situation and he understands 
that, you know, sometimes in order to have that rainbow, we have to put up with the rain. He gets that now, you know, he understands it. And he is now happy in his own skin because the battle is over. The battle of always trying to be happy, the battle of trying to push his shadow side away, you know, the battle of trying to mix oil and water and mix, you know, this, this, Mix things that were never, you know, mix the two different lives, you know, that we that, that he was trying to do, you know, that was that was causing a, a lot of pressure. And, you know, now it's like the right, okay, he's relaxed into it. There's no resistance. He's accepted and he's surrendered and realized that, right, okay, is that all I had to do to just live in this abundance, you know? If we have a look at him there, he hasn't got a flash car, you know, he hasn't got a massive house or anything like that, you know, um, because he knows that he doesn't need them in order to live a life in abundance. His abundance comes from his emotions, from his openness, from his at oneness with himself, you know, and at oneness with the universe. So this guy is the type of guy who could probably, like, you could probably sit up all night talking to, you know, um, and, you know, you could tell him your dreams, you could tell him all of this, and he would get it, and he would listen, you know, but then he can be funny, and he can go from, you know, from deep to random in, in 60 seconds, you know, that's, that's what my friends say about me, you know, I can have, be having these, like, big, massive, intense conversations. And then the other day, I actually seen a bubble. Somebody was blowing bubbles in the street, and I was like, all right, yeah. And just, you know, so it's the mixing of, of the two there. So this guy has now, it's like he has become a guru now, you know, because of what he's learned. So his, his experience has made him very wise. And I feel that if he's in his life, then he can teach you as well, as well as being taught. So he's sort of like this like hippie soul, you know, um, and he knows now that in order to achieve this balance and in order to keep this balance, what he needs to do is live from his heart, you know, and do things that he loves um, and make his life so much simpler, you know, because he knows that happiness is the most important commodity that he will ever own you know? So, like I say, I, I absolutely love this card. If this is a guy in your life, you know, um, then this is, you know, it, it's, you know, feel very, very blessed. Now, what Osho also says about this card is it can often talk about soul reunions as well. So, that actually ties in with, um, with the temperance card as well, you know? So, soul unions or, or reunions, as the case may be. Um, if this is you, this is a, you are at a time where you are breaking through conventional male stereotypes as well. And you are allowing your fullness as a human being to shine forth into this world. You are ready to open your heart and you are ready to embrace this happiness. You know, I mean, look at him. He's just, I absolutely love this guy. I bet he's actually, that, that's funny. Um, I've, I've been listening to George Harrison a lot this weekend because it, it was his birthday and George Harrison is just, what a beautiful soul he was, you know? And I'm, I'm just imagining, yeah, that could be like George Harrison just picking up a guitar and, and strumming out some some tunes, you know? Um, my sweet lord's just come in there. I don't, I'm not even going into the words. Um, but yeah, so like I say, you know, this is saying that once you find this mix and once you sort of mix these elements together, whether they're with somebody else, whether they're your shadow sides, whether they're your spirituality, your 3D life and your 5D life, that is when you will find this abundance, you know? So beautiful cards then. And then the Colette Baron Reed card, this threw me a bit at first because it's a card called Clean It Up and it's in the protection position. And I was like, right, okay, there's two beautiful cards. What is going on? And Spirit said to me, you know, you cannot actually mix something. I mean, if you think that is usually in a chemistry lab or something like that, isn't it? And if the, the, the purity and the cleanliness is actually very, very important, you know, especially when you're doing, when you're doing anything like this, you know, any sort of experiments, you know, they need to be in controlled, um, <clears throat> controlled circumstances. So what this is saying is any shit that is left within your life, it's time to get rid of it now, you know? 
it's not your job to clean up other people's shit. You know, you kind of be there to clean up other people's lives for them. You know, you've gone through this process of pain and hardship in order to purify and simplify your life. You kind of turn around and do that for somebody else because they will not respect it. Like I was saying yesterday, you know, um, the, the other day, sorry, was it Saturday, Friday? I don't know. Like I was saying that, you know, by giving a free reading, there's not the respect there. People don't value it. The only way people grow and learn to value what you have done for them or whatever is through their own experience, you know? So once we become enlightened, we want to tell everybody about it and we want to spread the word. And we want to say, this is how I've done it. But everybody has to do it at their own pace. And what this is saying is, you know, it's quite a dark card. I really, really don't don't like this card. I mean, even the stars in it look, look dirty, you know. And what this is saying is that you need to purify your life. You need to simplify your life in order for you to get this you have to stop clearing up other people's shit and make sure that you still haven't got shit to, to sort out, you know? Because when we go into this new life, we leave the baggage behind uh, because we don't need it. You know, we don't need it. When, when you are living a spiritual life that is drama-free and simplistic and beautiful, you know, why would you want to bring drama back in with you, you know? And, you know, a lot of people do this. They... They hang on to things or they hang on to old stories of pain and their pain body grows and grows every day. You know, that guy has let his pain body completely go, you know. He's like, right, okay, adios, I'm I'm off, you know, see you later, you know, or, or see you not later as the case may be because he doesn't want that weighing him down. You know, he's got his knowledge. He's got the sun and the moon. You know, that that's all he needs. He's got his truth, right? Okay, the only three things that can it stay hidden are the sun, the moon, and the truth, right? Okay, so there, that's it, you know? He's being true to him. And this is when he can live in, in abundance. So like I say, anything left behind here, clean it up, you know? Put it out with the trash because that will cause an imbalance within this life that you're striving towards okay so i hope that made sense i really like that reading but i think it's because it's the king of rainbows you know i get like i have got like a bit of a schoolgirl crush on him i think um so i hope you like that i hope it made sense to you uh i really love these cards and i love the messages that they're bringing as well i i do feel they're very i feel they came at the right time if that makes sense. Um, I did look at them a few months ago and, and sort of poo-pooed them. And then, like I say, they're, they've come back and they're just absolute, like, jewels of wisdom. You know, even the box is like, it's, look, it's, it's, it's like, it, the book is like, it's like treasure, you know. So, um, but have an absolutely fabulous day and start of a new week. And just think, right, okay, what is it you need to clean up? you know, because we're, we're, we're working towards abundance. This is, this is our goal and it's there. It's just about getting the perfect mix. Once we get that perfect mix, then we've struck gold. So if anybody would like a reading with me, please get in touch via my Facebook or via my email. Um, I do Skype phone to the UK. If you want phone calls to the US or to another country, there is a little bit of an extra charge for that, you know, sorry, it's just because, you know, I've, I've got to sort of cover my costs with that as well. Um, but there are other ways, like I say, Skype is is how I usually deal with my over, overseas clients. Um, but have a fabulous week and I can't wait to see what cards there are tomorrow, okay? Um, just get the balance right, that's, that, that's what's needed, okay? Uh, I'll see you tomorrow with the cards of today. Satnam.